Hi, this is Shyam Ramasamy. You are going to view my presentation about market segmentation of breakfast cereals. Let's now see the benefit of eating breakfast. It gives an energy boost to start the day. It's it makes you to stay with a sharper focus which helps you in everything that you do during the day. It reduces the morning crankiness, laziness, sleepiness, whatever you take it, it reduces that, it makes you break, brisk and uh, agile. It gives you a metabolism boost which is required which wakes all the system in your body up. It prevents you from starvation. Once you have a breakfast, you don't feel starving through the day. It, if you are not starving through the day, it keeps you from overeating. It helps lower bad cholesterol, which helps in reducing heart attack and other bad uh, things that comes with bad cholesterol. And all the points mentioned above um, helps one to lose weight if that's what one is looking to do. Now we know the advantage of having a breakfast. Let's see the social trend of the population on the food industry as a whole. Food is the fourth largest expenditure category in consumers' budget. It comes right after the home mortgage or rent, medical expenses, and transportation expenses. Food expenditure on the household spending is always on the rise. Every year there is a rise. People are working more and more long hours. This Long hours has a big impact on the food consumption. So either they are eating outside more and things like that. The, the statistics shows that the sale of cold cereal is down past three years while the number of people eating breakfast has grown. This shows that people are eating a different kind of uh, breakfast every day. Like the biggest jump is in the consumption of cereal bars which they can eat on the train, bus or while driving. And finally we should understand that consumers are masters of their choice and they will always look for a value for the money they are spending. Let's see what choices customers have for breakfast. Obviously, he can skip the breakfast, which is not healthy, but some do. Home cooked hot breakfast. I don't know how many gets, how often. I don't get it very often, but once in a while I do get hot breakfast. Eat out in a restaurant. That's not going to be possible during a work day. People are in a hurry but some do. Eat cereal or oatmeal or a cereal bar which most of them do. Let's see the breakfast cereal market segmentation. I have four category of segmentation put in this table. Type key benefit, demographic, and target customers. And I have five broad categories of uh, breakfast cereal. So the first one is bulk. The key benefit of this type is cheap. Demographic is low income. And target customers are price conscious customers. The second type is flavor and taste. It is sugary and likable. Kids and teens like it. 
and target customers are being taste conscious customers. The third type is healthy type of um, cereals. A key benefit is it is nutritious. Demographic women like it. Target customers are diet conscious customers. Fourth type is the brand. With the with the brand, it comes the reliability as a key benefit. Demographic is stable income. And target customers are busy customers. The fifth type of cereal is a hot cereal. The key benefit it is fresh. Demographic is baby boomers and women. Target customers are leisure and retired customers. Let's go through the details of each type of uh, cereal that's been mentioned in market segmentation table. The first one is uh, bulk cereal or warehouse cereal. It can be bought in a large quantity at a cheaper price from a warehouse. It's ideal for low-income household. That's a big family with a similar taste. They can buy one kind of uh, or a couple of kind of uh, cereal in bulk and everyone can eat it. Mostly bought by price conscious people. Um, they don't care about uh, anything other than the price. Yeah, they do not care about the nutrition it has. Um, so all they worry about is price. The second type of uh, cereal is uh, flavor and taste. Usually these uh, cereals are colorful and um, sugary. Uh, this is attracting the kids. So they like the tasty uh, cereal. Uh, they don't care about the nutrition uh, that the cereal is carrying. Usually these cereals are boxed and um, they are also shaped into different characters uh, that um, the kids like. Kids and young adults uh, like the tasty colorful characters of the cereal. They eat uh, the cereal more for those characters than the cereal itself. And here are some of the examples. Um, the Flintstones, uh, the Elmo and the Fun Spongebob. So kids uh, love, love them. The next type of uh, cereal that we are going to discuss is the healthy kind of cereal. These cereals are nutritious cereals which is rich in uh, vitamin, protein, antioxidant. Some of them are organic, gluten free, um, they are high in fibers and the list goes on. They are also low in sugar and uh, coloring agent which is responsible for some of the cancers. Women like this. Diet conscious customers also like this uh, uh, cereal. Let's look at some of the cereals that's available in the market. Those are Yuhan's uh, Super Green, Kasi's to Toasted Cinnamon Crisp, Fiber One. Those are some good examples. The next type of cereal that we are going to discuss is from the branded companies. These cereals are uh, reliable, standard, so it's from a branded company, so ev everyone believes that uh, uh, we can rely on the standard and quality of the cereal. This is liked by a uh, stable, um, high or um, good uh, income customers. These customers are usually busy. They don't have time to shop around for um, better, lesser known cereals from uh, a non-branded uh, company. And here you go. These people are like busy in their meetings and um, so they don't have time. The next and last type of uh, cereal that we are going to look at is the hot cereals. 
as the name suggests it is hot and uh, fresh a uh, lot of people like it women who has time to prepare uh, likes to make this cereal in the morning and enjoy the hot breakfast it's usually liked by leisure and uh, retired customers uh, mostly uh, baby boomers who can um, uh, relax themselves and uh, prepare the breakfast and enjoy the uh, breakfast there you go there is a couple who is enjoying their hot breakfast to summarize um this uh, presentation and uh, market segmentation is useful for cereal manufacturers uh, to identify a distinct group of buyers who differ in their needs and uh, wants and if uh, industry is entering the cereal market uh, they can select one of the market segments and uh, target them and also position themselves in the market so it will be useful for any kind of cereal manufacturers with that we come to an end of this presentation i hope you are benefited by it don't forget to have a healthy breakfast every day thank you